Sanders, what a surprise. Uh, I'm sorry, Miss Brooks, I didn't wake you, did I? No, I was just cooking a snack. Uh, is something wrong? Uh, no, no, nothing's wrong. I just wanted to know if I could ask you a few questions. I, I know it's been a few months. Sure, it's no problem. I uh, was just about to eat. Hey, come in. Okay, thanks. I told you all I knew about Alan five months ago. Well, it might not be any help at all, but I feel with the time that's passed and the new victims, something from before could have a new context for the case. Okay. Let's get started then. Okay. So, uh, Ms. Brooks. Sharon. You can call me Sharon. Sharon. Um, the last time that you saw Alan, did he happen to mention anything about feeling like somebody was stalking him? Maybe getting random phone calls, that sort of thing? No. No, nothing like that. Did the police think the killer was following him? Well, some of the victims had said they felt like they were being stalked prior to the murders. Uh, okay, so uh, did Alan have anything that he kept on at all times and never left the house without him? something small? Yeah. Yeah, his class ring. He never left the house without it. He was always gone. Everyone, how he was the MVP of his high school's football team. Uh, we didn't find a ring on the body. Are you sure he never left the house without him? Yeah, I'm sure. What do you think a killer would want with this class ring? Uh, serial killers like to take things, mementos, trophies. It, uh, reminds them of what it felt like to, you know, well, you know. Uh, Sorry, Miss Brooks. <clears throat> it's been going on a bit. It's been a really long night. That's all right. I don't know if you could tell me this or not, but I was just really curious with the news and all lately. What's the profile of the L.A. Ripper? I read a lot of crime novels, and I was just really curious. Uh, no reason I can't share that. We're looking for someone in their mid-30s, very disturbed past. They target only men. Uh, like they have a uh, pathological hatred toward them. And we think they have a fixation on Hannibal Lecter. Why would you say that? Uh, I'm sorry, I think I said too much with the last part. That's okay. I never heard a thing. Uh, so, uh, what is that that you're eating? It looks delicious. It is delicious. It's a personal dish of mine you want to try that? Uh, yeah, sure.
that shit is. Thanks. Can I use your bathroom? Wasn't my food, was it? I'm just kidding. <laughs> um, it's the first door to the left down the hall. Okay. I'll just be here. Tyler of the LA Police Department. I'm not in right now, so please leave your name and number and I will get back to you as soon as possible. Captain, it's me. Listen, I know who the LA River is. It's Sharon Brooks, a witness I talked to three months ago. I'm in her house right now. She has items belonging to all of the victims. Okay, I'm going to keep her busy. As soon as you get this message, I need you to send a squad car over. Okay, so send one over as soon as you get this. Nice book collection. Thanks. I didn't know you were so into uh, Hannibal Lecter novels. <laughs> I hope that doesn't make me a suspect. No, that doesn't make you a suspect. <laughs> this does.
Good for you. <laughs> Good for you. He was your friend. No. No. Alan was a piece of shit. Scum. He cheated on his wife. He left his kids. He was a waste of a life. And we all have a little bit more air to breathe. Because he's dead. And the other five guys? What the fuck did they do? I just didn't like them. But then again, I hate men in general. I have daddy issues. Fuck you. What? You wanted a better reason? Yeah. Story time, detective. So why don't you just shut up and listen, and you might just learn a thing or two. I'm gonna tell you a story about a girl named Sarah. One night when she was only 11, her father came home from work and he beat his wife to death. He got laid off from work. So in a fit of panic, he threw the body down there in the basement, and the only witness to this crime, Sarah, down there with it. Days went by, or at least she thought it was days. She had no way of knowing. And as days went by, she began to starve. Weeks passed, and her sympathetic father, or so he thought, began to take little scraps from his dinner and throw them down for Sarah to eat. But that, that wasn't enough to quench Sarah's hunger. So, she resorted to feeding on the vermin that lived down there in the basement. Weeks went by, and finally, Sarah found her opportune moment to escape. A couple weeks later, the police found her father's body missing an ear and four fingers, which, in the report, they said that they were not off. Sarah went and she started a new life and a new place with a new name. And as far as anyone else knew, she was dead. But you and I know differently. That way. That's just a small reason I do what I do. I can't say that what I do is right. But it does get food on the table. You're fucking sick. Join the club. You seem to enjoy my latest dish. Ugh, fuck you! God! Oh. I must say, your Hannibal note in the profile? Spot on! You know, I always love to read. Hannibal is like the father I never had. Both damaged, both a bit twisted. Fucking kill you. Oh, plenty of men have pleaded with me in their last hours. How many have you killed? <laughs> well, it's more than six, I can tell you that. Somebody like me has been doing this for a really long time. You need help. Oh, I'm not the one who needs help, Detective. 
let's not confuse who's on what side of the situation here. You need mental help. Detective, let's not start calling each other crazy. Or I may just have to show you what crazy really looks like. If you let me go, I can talk to the DA and just bring you in a psychiatric facility. Shut up! <clears throat> You're just a pitiful piece of shit like every other man on this planet. And like all of them, you lie. Give up, detective. You're gonna die and you're still fighting. Give up, detective. It won't do you any good. It's still worth it. Oh, I bet it was. <laughs> well, this was fun. But like every story, there's always an ending. And this is yours, detective. Do you have any last words? interesting. Somebody's gonna come looking for you eventually, so my ending to this story quite frankly sucks. It's survival of the fittest, detective. Either I die, or you die. And then a new story begins. <laughs>